providing us with here tonight is round nine of the IBF Bantamweight Championship encounter between champion Leo Santa Cruz and challenger Victor Zaleta is underway. And Zaleta continues to hang in tough. Santa Cruz lands the overhand right. Through seven rounds, Santa Cruz has averaged 98 punches thrown and 40 landed. Zaleta's thrown 74 and landed 19 per round. So we talked about them being busy. It's extraordinary. Zaleta has been down twice in this fight. Went down in the fourth round and again in the seventh. You know what it is when you're at close quarters the whole time. What else is there to do besides punch? So the yes, that's what these guys a, do. It's a very good point. Heading into this fight, he had been down just once before in May of 2011 when he was knocked down against Daniel Noriega. Karan Butler tweeting saying Santa Cruz is simply placing his skill and will upon this fight here, indeed imposing both of those attributes. And Zaleta again is rocked, gets nailed with the left right. Now the jab beginning to find its target and just an onslaught from the champion, and down goes Zaleta for the third time, and referee has stopped the fight. Leo Santa Cruz retains the IBF Bantamweight Championship in terrific fashion. A gutsy, Valiant effort by Victor Zaleta moving up in weight, but in the end, Leo Santa Cruz was just too much, and it raises the question, guys, what is next for this champion? Well, we wanted an impressive performance from him, just so he could be considered with maybe the winner of the main event. Well, this was as impressive as it's gonna get, scoring the TKO win, three knockdowns in the fight before the stoppage. He looks sensational, he's getting better every fight, and he's still young. He's got a high ceiling, this guy. His skill level is superb, and this young man, we're happy to see him sitting on the stool with a courageous and often skillful performance. We'll take a look at how the fight ended. The right hand, which had become a big weapon during the later rounds in this fight, landed perfectly for Santa Cruz, and it came after, of course, an onslaught of punches early in this fight. The jab was used as the range finder there for uh, Santa Cruz. Often he was throwing lead right hands, but this one he used the jab to set it up and showed the power. Santa Cruz was, ha was you know, when you compare fighters, he was able to knock Eric Morell out in the fifth round, and Abner Mars had to go the distance with him. He made the point uh, that, you know, I want to make the point that I am a power puncher. And in this fight, after that onslaught, he is able to take Soleta out. Well, even if it's not the power, I think the body shots also wear these guys down. And once they're weakened from the body shots, they'll go down from anything, yep. you know? Santa Cruz remains undefeated, 22-0-1 with his 13th win by knockout as we take a look at the show stats, uh, amazing numbers. You can see why Santa Cruz averages well over 1,000 punches per fight. And landing at 41% for show stats, that's a very good number when you landed that, and the power punch is landing at over 50%. So those are impressive numbers by this young man who's an impressive 24-year-old. Another superlative effort by the IBF Bantamweight champion. Let's make it official with the one and only Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 42 seconds in round number nine. He is the winner by way of knockout. Still undefeated and still the IBF Bantamweight champion of the world, Leo Teremoto. Santa Cruz! So 
Leo Santa Cruz improving to 3-0 in world title fights with his second impressive knockout performance here on Showtime. And he is standing by with our Jim Gray. All right, Morrow, thank you very much. Leo, congratulations. How are you able to throw so many punches? You had 839 punches, just under 100 around. Oh, my, I owe it out to my trainer, my training conditioning coach, Daniel Garcia. He made me train really hard, and he told me that as I throw in the first round, he had to finish that like that in the 12th round, and that's the conditioning he put me in me. Victor was a tremendous opponent tonight. What are your thoughts on the way that he performed? The guy took almost everything and it went down a couple of times, but it was amazing how he kept coming back for more. Yeah, he's a really strong fighter. Nobody had ever stopped him, and I was the first one, and that's a really great fight for me and he's a really tough fighter he took a lot of punches and great fighter Leo let's take a look at your first knockdown it happened in the fourth round as we take a look at the monitor here tell us from your from your vantage point oh yeah I was right there I was looking a body, for a body shot yeah, body shot I saw that he opened and I, I, I threw it and he took his time got back up and then the seventh round go ahead Leo yeah I, I was working the, in the head so he go block on the top and then I was gonna go to the body because that's that's how we had to work him Seemed like your left was so effective throughout the night. And so we go into the final round of the fight here, and yeah, right this was there. the ending. Yeah, I right threw. Now. I went with, inside with the right. I threw with I got, and thank God I got him, and he went down. So now you'll watch the main event coming up. Would you like to fight the winner? Yeah, of course. I uh, I would like to fight the winner of the next bout, uh, but I probably want to take like one or two more fights to get more experience and grow into my body a little more and f fight one of them. All right, Leo, it's just terrific. I know you enjoy fighting here at home, don't you? Yeah, I do. Thanks to Showtime for giving me this opportunity. Golden Boy, my manager, Al Hyman, and everybody. And uh, I want to say hi to all my fans, and thank you for the support. All right, congratulations. <laughs> Leo Santa Cruz, back to you, Morrow. Thanks a lot, Jim. And regardless of the weight division he competes in, the future very bright for the IBF Bantamweight champion, Leo Santa Cruz, as we take a look at the judges' scores. At the time of the stoppage. Clearly a huge margin as well it should be. Gwenadere did give a round uh, to Zaleta, but for the most part, a dominating performance as the judges indicated. And our unofficial showtime scoring at the time of the stoppage. We are, of course, in perfect sync, so naturally we must be correct in our <laughs> scorings. Leo Santa Cruz celebrating with his camp as he successfully maintains his hold on the IBF Bantamweight gold. Let's throw it back to Brian Kenny.